Welcome back to Redbrook Farm in Scabro. Um, what we've done is just opened up the bottom of uh, this new hive. Um, what you see here um, is a hive that has been closed up for two days. There's a feeder on top with a quart of sugar water protecting it. Uh, this hive had gotten um, attempted to have uh, been robbed basically by the other colonies. What we have here are two, four, six, seven other colonies total. Um, and when you get strong colonies around a small nucleus colony like this, what you find is that the um, bees come and rob out the other colony. So what I've done here is I've just now opened up the front of it. And what we're doing is uh, there's a total, the bottom of this is totally open. The bottom of the hive has a uh, one eighth inch hardware screen cloth on. So there's plenty of fresh air and They've been drinking plenty of water, um, plenty of sugar water. But what we're doing right now, um, and they're all in the air around the colony here, um, and I've just opened it up so that the foraging bees, and what's coming out are the uh, robbing bees that were basically um, trapped in here for the last uh, day and a half. Um, and I'm hoping that they'll orient to this colony here now. Um, if you leave them in there for a few days, um, what they'll do is they'll stay uh, with the colony that they are um, have been with, we'll find out. Things will settle down. It's around six. It's six o'clock now. Uh, the sun sets at 8:30 here. Uh, this will calm down by then. And so what I've done is just opened up the front of it. And the ones that are clustering at the top, the ones that are clustering at the top of the hive, there's an opening there. There's a three-eighths inch a hole opening, and that may be because those were the foragers, and that's where they clustered before. Um, so this colony uh, was a was a colony that was um, requeening. They were uh, feeding a queen cell inside as of two days ago. Um, it was a nuke colony that uh, had a problem with the queen that I put in. I, it was on five frames. I put it on ten because it looked strong. Um, then the queen failed, and so it shrunk back down. I've resized it into a small five-frame nuke box here. Um, but what you're looking at, um, they're coming and going through the bottom. Uh, we'll see, this will settle down tonight. And I'll keep my eye on it tonight and see what's going to happen. Um, but these bees on the outside here are foraging bees that were trapped in the hive and I'm hoping that they're going to go back in. And uh, once this hive gets settled down, um, the only other alternative here is that if the robbing continues to go on, is to move this new colony away from her uh, neighbors and these neighbor colonies here are very strong colonies and uh, what they'll do is when they get a sense of a small colony with some sugar feed on top they will uh, climb into it and uh, they basically take all the sugar and eat all the stores so we've been feeding it now for two days and we'll see what comes of it so then the other one, what we have is a nice calm colony over here. This is the two five frame nukes. Uh, there's one on the left and one on the right. Um, very calm, very easy going. Um, our goal here with this is to not grow these two nukes. Uh, there's one on the left and one on the right. And our goal is not to grow these two nukes into full uh, hives. I want them to be strong five frame nukes and I'm going to put them on top of one of the other colonies and I'll overwinter them on top of one of these colonies so that the heat from the colony below and then next spring uh, the five frame nuke will um, grow into um, a full colony. I'll, let it, I'll, I'll encourage it to grow into a full colony. The third one over, the third box over, uh, this one right here was um, that box right there. This one was a, looked like that first colony. Um, <laughs> two weeks ago and what happened was I had an extrication, I had a cutout of a colony that I put beside it. The bees all moved into this one here, totally augmented the size of the hive and what that did was allow that nuke to get a super start and so uh, normally this five frame nuke should be on about uh, you know, should be 10 frames by now, but uh, the queen failed, and I'm on day six or seven of a requeening, and it takes 16 days for the queen to hatch, and another week for her to get laying, to get uh, in seven, to get fertilized and laying well. So um, 
that takes a little bit of time to work that out. And so what we've got here is uh, they're kind of oriented. What I see is a lot of orienting flights. Uh, these bees are kind of looking at the front of the colony just to see, uh, get a sense of where it is and uh, what's going to happen for them um, in the future. They orient towards this site and then they're off and running. Uh, hopefully they'll be become the part of the foraging field for this uh, colony. I'll look at it in a couple of days, see how crowded it is and hopefully put it back on 10 frames. Um, but I've got to get that queen uh, requeened first. So there's the latest from Redbrook Farm. Thank you. And we're at Redbrook Farm at www.redbrookhoney.com.